So, let's get ready for this. Okay. Hey guys, so in today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the new Paul Mitchell Mirror Smooth Shampoo, Conditioner, and High Gloss Primer. So if you ever want information on any of the Paul Mitchell products, you can go ahead and go to their website, it's Paul Mitchell US, and then just go look for the products in it. So they have every product and they have like the ingredients, they have how to use it, they have what it's good for. So you can go ahead and check in there. So the shampoo is um, sulfate free and it's going to um, balance the moisture in your hair as well as leave your hair smooth and silky. So if you want to know how it works, I'll go ahead and read it off of here because I haven't done much study studying up on it. Okay, it says the exclusive Cara Reflect Blend with natural Abyssinian oil <laughs> replenishes moisture, smooths the cuticle, and adds shine. Um, an added bonus is it prevents frizz and flyaways, which it's called Mirror Smooth, so it better reduce frizz and flyaways. It is not, or it's um, cruelty free, so no animal cruelty here. So that was just for the shampoo. Now I'll go ahead and tell you guys about the conditioner. So the conditioner is going to hydrate, detangle, and add shine and a reflective finish, hence the name Mirror. Um, the Care Reflect Blend with Natural Abyssinian Oil, I think I got that word now, no. Smooths and softens every strand so the hair is easy to comb and an ultra light, with an ultra light finish. Um, it helps prevent frizz and flyaway and flyaways, and it also protects therm protects your hair from thermal damage. So, um, the conditioner is paraben free. So that is the conditioner. Now I'm going to give you guys the 411 on the Mirror Smooth um, High Gloss Primer. Um, it primes the surface cuticle of the hair for a smooth, shiny, polished look and controls unruly texture. The exclusive Cara Reflect Blend with natural Abyssinian oil and thermal protectors restore moisture, add shine, and help shield the hair from the outside in. Humidity resistant formula creates a smooth finish in any weather and prevents thermal damage. Okay, okay. It is also paraben free. The shampoo. I like the shampoo. It smells amazing. Like, oh, it smells so good. It smells really good and I would use this every day but I can't. First of all I don't want smooth hair every day so that's why I'm not going to use it every day. Also I feel like it can get a little too heavy on my hair. You know it kind of weighs it down and it it, cl it cleanses my hair but I don't know what's in it but it kind of feels a little too thick for my hair. I think if I had more coarse hair then it would be perfect for my hair and it would be amazing. So if you have Say you have like super curly, super thick hair and you want your hair to really get smooth, I think this would be the perfect shampoo for you. As well as the conditioner. Oh, also, it's sulfate free, but it definitely does suds up and get all foamy, so that's good. Because it really, whenever a shampoo is sulfate free, a lot of shampoos, not Paul Mitchell, I feel like every Paul Mitchell sulfate free shampoo suds up, suds, suds up pretty well. Um, it lathers really well, so you can actually feel like it's getting clean, but um Yeah, so this is going to get you that lathery feeling um, So uh, oh, but anyways, I feel like a lot of sulfate free shampoos don't lather up And that's why people are like it's sulfate free So I don't really want to touch it because I feel like it doesn't clean my hair, right? But I feel like Paul Mitchell does a really good job with that. I don't know how they do it, but it, it's always lathering up for me and I love it and I've heard from other people that it lathers a while for them too and that's why people love shampoo from Paul Mitchell so um oh, I just noticed that I was doing a review for shampoo with the conditioner now now for the review on the conditioner um, I like it um, it smells amazing just like the shampoo the only thing is like the shampoo it feels like it really does weigh down and also I feel like um, I don't know if a little doesn't a little doesn't go a long way or if I'm just not spreading it right, but I feel like I need to use more conditioner than I normally do with it just because I feel like it doesn't spread throughout my ends as well as an, another conditioner would. So, I don't know about that. But um 
Other than that, I like it whenever I do get it all over the ends. It's fine. The only thing is it does get a little heavy. So I wouldn't recommend using it every day. Maybe. So the high gloss primer is, let me show you guys how it comes out. Because I like it. I like how it, it's just like, it looks like, um, it looks like a clear gel or something. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my god, it smells so good. Ugh. Dude, it smells so good. The only difference in the consistency of the Super Skinny Serum and the High Gloss Primer is that the Super Skinny Serum is a more silicone-y feeling, while this is more, um, not fluffy, but I don't know how to explain it. Um, the Super Skinny Serum is more oily and silicone-y. This is just more glossy. So, um, it's really, like, it's not thick at all. I, I mean, if you put too much, then of course it'll weigh your hair down. But I mean, I like it so far. I, I haven't had a, um, I haven't had the experience of putting too much and it weighing my hair down too much. I've had that experience with gloss drops, and it is not a good feeling. <laughs> so um, if you have super coarse and curly hair and you really want smooth hair, oh my god, this thing is amazing. It's better than gloss drops, and it's better than super skinny serum, and it still has a thermal protectant in it. So I totally recommend this. It fights bruise, gets your hair super smooth. Like I had a girl and she had the curliest hair ever and I used this on her and I, I just blow dried her hair straight, blowed it, blow dried it straight and um, it was so smooth and so shiny and so glossy and so straight. I loved it. It was so pretty. So if you have coarse curly hair, I definitely recommend these products because your hair can handle it. But if you have fine hair, maybe you can use a little bit just to drop. I wouldn't overdo it because I'm sure it'll just weigh your hair down way too much. And if you have a straight hair, it may look a little too oily. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, go ahead and like this video, comment this video if you have any questions, if you want if you have a request for any other videos, I'm kind of out of ideas for videos, so go ahead and leave me a comment suggesting anything. Um, follow me on Instagram, B-A-B-Y-Y-L-A-S-S-A, and hmm, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and have a great day. Oh,